number seven. Ah, Florida. You're the gift that keeps on giving. Apparently, it isn't that hard to fire a police officer if misconduct involves another police officer, Jennifer. Then it could happen real quick. David Hernandez of Longwood. He said Longwood. Florida was fired after mocking a fellow officer about her fears of catching COVID, hugging her against her will, and touching her personal belongings. An internal investigation found that Hernandez was... Try to contain yourself here, Jennifer. Not fully forthcoming and not truthful, really. In his statements on the interaction with the other officer, Hernandez is really screwed up, Jennifer, because he had 16 years on the force. He was just four years away from that pension money train. The police union, interestingly, has no comment on the ongoing arbitration. The woman officer involved elected not to press charges against hernandez you could get to unpack this shit show it's all yeah. you um first of all some guy hugging me against my will i don't care if you're a co-worker or not I'm, you're going to get a knee to the groin second that's both borderline harassment and sexual harassment um third i shared an article with you guys in our news uh news chat earlier this week about the ways in which women women in predominantly male dominated uh, careers are still very much grappling with sexual harassment and harassment of various yes. forms um, because men don't like their presence there. And this kind of reeks of that. Um, and her kind of willingness to not press charges may also be out of fear for repercussion. Well, I bet I, I'm willing to bet a month of Sunday of paychecks that she is already dealing with repercussions and we will probably never know, but I'd be surprised if she is with that police force 12 months from now. Yeah, exactly. 